So I originally recorded this last night and I noticed that the frames was terrible. Like the overall quality of the video was just bad. So I wanted to redo this video and I kind of wanted to give a bit more context to my points in that video. But welcome back guys to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about some unpopular opinions that I have for Resident Evil. And this video might come off a bit decisive or divisive I, I don't know how i say it but it might come off a bit polarizing because these are my opinions and these opinions might be different from yours um i'm 22 i've experienced some of the highs and i've experienced some of the lows for this series just for some context i've played resident evil 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and i have all the games i have the remake for the first one i have the remakes from 2 to 3 to 4 and then obviously I have the original four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm obviously six, seven, and eight don't have remakes. I'm just saying I like. But yeah, guys, we're gonna be talking about my unpopular opinions. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and comment down below what your opinions are for Resident Evil. I'm interested in hearing them. All right, so hopping into no particular order, we're going to be starting off with Resident Evil 5 is a top five Resident Evil game. For me, at least, I know Resident Evil 5 isn't a well-received game, and that is because it leans into more action than it does horror. And that is very much credited to Resident Evil 4. I would say that's where the franchise kind of dipped its toes in something else more action than it did horror. Now, if you know the story about Resident Evil 4, it was changed multiple times because the developers couldn't agree on where it was going. Obviously, they settled with what they did, and that's how we got the masterpiece of Resident Evil 4. But I think Resident Evil 5 is a top 5 Resident Evil game, and I very much enjoy the co-op aspect. I enjoy the story. I enjoy the gameplay, and I overall enjoy the amount of content that that game has. And it might be because I'm a bit biased. I played this game when it first came out with my cousin back in like 2010 i was a small kid and my cousin is like a brother to me i would play this game crazy amounts of times with him and that is some of the best memories that i will never get to enjoy again because obviously people grow up and this is probably one of the bigger reasons why i have resident evil 5 as a top 5 resident evil game all right number two Resident Evil 4 Remake is the best resident evil game for a lot of people it's going to be the original resident evil and i can't disagree with you but i'm not gonna agree with you because i think resident evil 4 remake has received the best polishing i think it has received the best gameplay i think it has the overall best systems and when it comes to the overall replayability i think that's where it truly shines and no matter how you feel about the original compared to the remake i think the remake captivates everything better than it does in the remake sorry the original so it, it makes this game a lot better for me personally i love the original i go back to that game so many amounts of times but i just want to say that the fourth remake is the best survival game i just want to say that the resident evil 4 remake is the best resident evil game and i do think that it has a really great story all right number three and this one might be a bit polarizing for most but i think resident evil 2 remake is the best survival horror game in the franchise i think it's a better overall game than the first one obviously the remake for the first game is much different from the second remake but if we're talking about originals i still think that the second game is much better i think it has a deeper story it has better written characters i think the gameplay shines better in that game and i think it overall really captivates what survival horror is four leon is the best written and developed character in the series personally for me i think leon could have taken wesker all by himself probably with plot armor but i do think that leon has really shined and i think this is capcom's best written character for any of their series and i know leon can be compared to chris and obviously who if these two duked it out who who would win honestly i think leon would win he's been around a lot longer than chris i think leon would win i think he's been a bit more shadowed than chris and leon has been through some worse stuff than chris 
personally i mean he survived a whole zombie invasion he saved the president's daughter he traveled to china to stop a nuclear not a new he, he traveled to china to stop a biohazard invasion i don't know if i said that right but i think even with the remakes coming out i think that's where leon was truly written as a better character overall because if we compare original resident evil 2 to resident evil 4 leon is a bit different in those games and i think in the second game the original he's a bit more serious obviously with the events happening but when you compare him to the resident evil 4 he's a bit of a joker and he knows he's gonna win at the end of the day and come on bro he like basically knows that he is the goat but all right guys this is going to be my final opinion and this one i think i've talked about in a previous video but i've also wanted to talk about it and bring it up again is that the remix need to stop for me i think i'm a bit burnt out on the remix already i understand that there's a big market for new players that want to enjoy the games but the game's probably outdated with outdated mechanics and graphics for a lot of people but I would say that that's really how these games were intended to be played. Obviously, with technology evolving over time, I think these games were best played even on the original hardware that they released. I know some people keep their original PS1s or PS2s to enjoy these games. Look, guys, remakes are always going to be happening. Resident Evil 4 remake, the Dead Space remake um i can name a bunch of other remakes but i'm just gonna be using those two those games are phenomenal and they are remakes obviously of original horror games that were considered masterpieces but like i said guys i think that the remakes just don't need to be coming out they're honestly going to be getting a bit stale that's one of the biggest fears i have for resident evil 5 remake when that comes out i know it's going to be coming out maybe in a couple years i don't think it's going to be the next resident evil i think resident evil 9 is going to be the next resident evil game but yeah I, resident evil 2 3 4 all feel super similar and not just in terms of graphics but gameplay obviously there's some differences in games but when you compare 2 to 3 remake they're the same thing and yes, the original Resident Evil 2, I would even say the original Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 play all similar. But when you compare the remakes, they all play similar. And I will say maybe 4 plays a bit different, but it's not the same. Other than that, guys, let me know if I was wrong or if you guys agree with me or disagree with me. I really am curious to know what you guys think of this. So please let me know down below in the comment section. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you guys in my next video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.